I'm Maggie from the blog BackToTheLandLiving.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you a uh, rhubarb pudding recipe. It is my grandmother's recipe and our family just loves it so I wanted to share it with you. One of the best parts about spring is rhubarb. It's one of the first things to pick and start canning and making some fresh foods. And so today I'm going to be doing the rhubarb pudding. This is a bread type pudding and it is absolutely delicious. for this pudding recipe is some rhubarb. So you can buy rhubarb in the store in the springtime sometimes, but often you can find a neighbor or a friend who has a patch if you don't have your own patch. So when picking rhubarb, you wanna go for the nice bright stems that are fresh and early in the season, and these ones will have the best flavor. And when you're picking them, pick them nice and close to the base, and then also cut off the leaf, because that part is toxic to people, and we just want the lovely stems that taste really good. And so after you have your rhubarb, you're gonna bring it home, wash it up, and we're gonna chop it into cube pieces, and we're gonna measure out two cups of chopped rhubarb. If you'd like to have the full recipe for this pudding, I'll leave a link in the description to my blog post where I have everything all written out and the whole recipe. But for the cake portion, we're gonna start with adding one cup of flour. And I'm just using all-purpose flour. And then to the flour, we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna give this a mix. So next we're gonna add a half a cup of white sugar and then a half a cup of milk to this mixture. After the batter is all mixed up, we're gonna add our two cups of rhubarb. And this is gonna make a pretty thick mixture. It's gonna be pretty heavy on the rhubarb side, but just mix it through really well. And then we're gonna add this to our pan. So today I'm using an eight inch wide and three inch deep casserole dish. But in the past, I have used a 9 by 13 pan. It just, if you use a larger pan, it'll be a shallow pudding. And I like using something a bit smaller that's taller, so that it'll be a bit of a deeper pudding. But both taste just great, whatever you have to use. And so we're gonna add this in as a bottom layer. Once we have the rhubarb in the baking dish, we're just gonna spread it around in a nice even layer along the bottom. Next, we're gonna mix up the liquid portion to this pudding, and so we're gonna be pouring this on top of the base layer. And so for this, we're gonna to mix together one and a half cups of hot water. I'm just using hot water for the tap. And then to this, we're gonna add one cup of brown sugar and one tablespoon of butter, and then we're just gonna whisk it all together, and the hot water will help to dissolve the sugar in the butter. One cup of sugar, and then one tablespoon of butter. And we're just gonna mix this all together until it starts to dissolve and it just incorporates into one. If the butter doesn't completely dissolve, that's okay. It'll melt when it goes in the oven. So now that the liquid is all mixed up, we're gonna pour it on top of the cake layer. So now we're gonna put this in a 375 degree oven for approximately 45 minutes, but that will depend on the size and shape of your baking dish. So just watch the pudding as it bakes, and once you see the cake bread layer starting to brown on top, you know it's done. and then serve it warm. That's how I think it tastes best, but also you can serve it cold later on too. I really like it served warm with some ice cream on top. 
So this is how you make this rhubarb pudding. I love it, and I hope you and your family love it as well. If you want the full recipe, I'll leave the link down in the description to my blog where it has all the instructions and all the ingredients written out. Thanks so much for being here. If you're interested in more farmhouse style recipes and homesteading, we'd love to have you follow us along. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one.